Hello guys, welcome to the second part of ECN 203 correction of the CA from the University of Boya. If you have not seen the first question yet, don't forget to visit my channel, it's Math Time Question and Answers, a channel that gives you insights about the problem giving you headache at school, where you will see the first part that talks about demand and supply. So in this video, we are going to tackle the second question that tells us about money saved in a bank and how to work with that money given that we are working on compound interest so without much ado guys let's go into the question proper so the question says that the APA says how long does it take mrs prisca sipo to double her capital if she puts two million five hundred thousand francs in an account paying compound interest at a rate of 9%. The B part says that suppose that a capital of 1,500,000 ends 2 million francs of interest in 5 years. What was the interest rate if compound interest is used? And C part says that what will 1 million francs invested for eight years be worth if the expected rate of interest is 12% for the first two years, 9% for the next three years, and 8% thereafter. So guys, don't be scared. It's very easy and I'm going to give you all the details as we move on. So let's look at the A part. Before we move on, we need to know what compound interest is actually about. We have what we call simple interest and what we call compound interest. So if you deposit 2,000 francs in a bank and they are giving you simple interest each year, meaning your interest is calculated on a fixed amount of 2,000 francs each year. But if you deposit 2,000 francs in a bank and they are calculating your interest rate at a compound interest, meaning that the interest you get the next year will be added on the 2,000 francs and the new amount interest you are going to get will be calculated based on the interest of last year and the principal amount of money. So from the name compound, it means that what interest is added onto your money and the interest then for the next year is calculated based on that principal amount plus the interest rate. So if this is true, then what is the formula to calculate interest? The formula to calculate interest is simply what you see on the screen, where we say P, uh, FV is the future value, meaning the amount you are expecting in the future. PV is the present value, meaning the amount you are depositing in a bank at that time. R, which is sometimes denoted as I, is the rate, which is always in percentage, and T is over time, and time most at times is over a year per annum. So in that case, we have defined this value as we said, FV is the future value, PV is the present value, R is the rate, R is sometimes called I, and T is the time, which is sometimes denoted as N. Now let's collect the data for uh, question A. So from that question, we know that what the present amount of money is 2,500,000 francs. So PV, the PV value is 2,500,000 francs. And the future value will be, we have said that how long does it take Mrs. Prisca Sipo to double her capital, meaning that if she deposits 2,500 francs, she needs to double this capital and double simply means you multiply that amount by two so if she had an initial amount a present value of two million five hundred thousand if she wants to deposit uh, double this amount then she'll be expecting two times that principal which will now give us five million francs so the future value she's expecting will be five million francs over what period of time? A period of time that we don't know. So we are looking for T, but we know the rate as 9%. And 9% is simply 9 divided by 100, which will give us 0 0.09. So let's now start plucking values, these numbers that we have collected into the formula of FV equals to PV 
into 1 plus r all that power t so we we'll have fv future value which is 5 million equals to present value which is 2 million 500 thousand plus uh, into 1 plus the rate which is 0 0.099 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.09 all of that power t so what can we do we can divide all through by 2 million 500 thousand francs so if we divide the left hand side by 2 million 500 thousand we can divide the right hand side by 2 million 500 thousand so 2 million 500 thousand into itself one time 2 million 500 thousand into itself one time and the 2 million 500 thousand into itself one and 2 million 500 thousand into 5 million will give us two therefore we are saying that two is equals to 1.09 because if we add one plus 0 0.09 will give us 1.09 all of that power t so if we take the logarithm on both sides then we are going to have logarithm of 2 base 0 0.09 is equals to t and if we want to change the basis of those logarithm we say that what t is equals to log 2 divided by log 1.09 if you don't have basic notion on logarithm, you can still go to my channel and look at videos on the logarithm. And if you evaluate this value of t equals to log 2 divided by log 1.09, we are going to see that t is approximately 8.0432 years. So over a period of 8.0432 years, Mississippi's amount will double to 5 million francs. Okay, guys, let's look at the B part, which says that suppose that a capital of 1.5 million earns uh, 2 million francs of interest in 5 years. What was the interest rate if compound interest is used? So, guys, be very careful. What is 2 million and what is 1.5 million? So let's see what these values are actually about. So in this case, what is the principal? The principal amount or the present amount or the present value is 1.5 million francs. What is the future amount? The future value is not 2 million. 2 million is the interest gotten from the principal value. So the interest is 2 million. So the future value will be 2 million plus 1.5 million you deposited 1.5 million you got an interest of 2 million so what amount of money do you have together all together all together you have 1.5 million plus 2 million which is your future value so the future value will be 1.5 million plus 2 million which is going to give us 3.5 million i hope you got that straight okay if you don't have get it straight pause the video play back and then you see reason with me what i'm saying okay what else do we know from there we know the interest uh the time the time is over a period of five years and we are looking for what the interest rate and we know that what from the series of formula that i'm going to give you at the end of this video that you can copy down somewhere we know that what the interest rate is given by this formula here interest rate is equals to the t root of pv over uh, fv over pv all of that minus one times 100 so we take the t root of uh, future value divided by uh, present value that answer minus one all of this times 100 why do we multiply by 100 because we need the rate in percentage all right so let's move on we know all of what we need so let's put the values into that formula so the rate will simply be the nth uh, the t root t is how many five we said t is five years so five 
the fifth root of the FV, which is the future value we calculated to be 3.5 million, divided by 1.5 million, all of that minus 1 times 100. So if we do that, we are going to have this. We have uh, the fifth root of 3 million uh, 500,000 divided by uh, 1.5 million the fifth root of that is going to give us 1.18466 and some other value so guys you can punch your calculator and see if we are on the same page minus 1 times 100 so if we do all of this 1.18466 minus 1 will give us 0 0.184666 and if we multiply that by 100 we are going to have a rate of um, 18.4666 percent so guys that's how we handle rates uh, time and uh, future values of uh, compound interest of a money placed in a bank so let's look at the C part that says that what what will 1 million franc invested for 8 years be worth if the expected rate of interest is 12% for the first 2 years, 9% for the next 3 years, and 80% thereafter. So we need to calculate 2 years, 3 years, and how many years? 3 years will give us 8 years altogether. So let's look at this question in the next slide. So we know that the principal value in this case is 1 million and this principal value of 1 million will keep on changing because we are talking about compound interest so our new principal value will be the previous future value let's look at what i mean as we solve on so let's calculate the future value for the first section remember this question is divided into three sections the first section which is over a period of two years with an interest rate of 12%. The second section, which is over a period of three years with an interest rate of 9%. And the third section, which is over a period of three years again and an interest rate of 8%. How do we get three years for the third section? Because we have said that the period of years are eight years. But if we do two years plus three years, it gives us five years. Five plus how many will give us eight? Five plus three. So the last uh, section, which is 8% rate, will be over a period of three years. Okay, so the future value for the first period of two years will be equals to PV, which is 1 million. 1 million into 1 plus 12 over 100. All of this, the rate is 2 years for the first case. So 12 over 100 will be 0 0.12. 0 0.12 plus 1 is 1.12. So the future value for this first section will be 1 million times 1.12 squared. If you evaluate this on your calculator, we are going to have 1.2544. That is 1.12 squared. So times 1 million, we are going to have 1 million 254,400 francs. And this future value becomes our new present value for the next three years. Because we are dealing with compound interest. Okay, so this future value, which is now our present value for the next three years, we are going to have... Uh, we still put the values into this equation. So future value will be equals to uh, the new present value into 1 plus 9 over 100. The rate is 9%. All of that power 3 over a period of 3 years here. So if we do that, 9 over 100 is 0 0.09 plus 1 is 1.09. So we are going to have future value of uh, 1,254,400 into 1 1.09 all of that cube. So if we evaluate 1.09 cube, we are going to have 
1.295029 all of that times the principal value which is going to give us a new uh, future value which is our principal value for the remaining years and the remaining years are three years so we are going to have 1,624,484 francs point three seven eight guys pause the video and calculate these things so that we'll be on the same page so this amount is now our present value for the next three years again we are saying the next three years because the question says invested for eight years but if we do two years plus three years will give us five years five years plus how many years will give us eight years five years plus three years so the next uh, years for an interest of eight percent will be three years so and our present value is one million six hundred and twenty four thousand four hundred eighty four point three seven eight so if we do this we are still going to take this value and put into this formula so we are going to have future value which is that if we do it over 100 we are going to have uh, 0 0.08 plus 1 which is 1.08 if we square that uh, if we take the cube of that we are going to have 1.08 cube which will give us 1.259712 if we take that and multiply with this amount we are going to have the future value over a period of eight years and this future value over a period of eight years will be equals to two million uh, forty six thousand three hundred eighty four point four six five francs so that is a total PV value over a period of a total uh, FV value over a period of eight years so that's how we handle questions like that but before i go i'm going to give you a rundown of all the formula you need when we are dealing with uh compound interest so the formula are as as, as follows the future value is given by pv into one plus r all of that power t where fv as we know is the future value pv is the present value R is the rate which is in percentage and T is the time most are times in years per annum okay we can get what the PV which is the present value can be calculated by the future value divided by 1 plus R all of that power T guys copy down these formulas they will help you some other time so the next formula is when we are calculating the rate. The rate is the teeth root. That is the time root, the time root of a future value divided by present value minus one. All of that times 100. We are multiplying by 100 because we need the rate in percentage. And the last formula is for the time. The time is giving us the logarithm of the future value divided by the present value all of that divided by the logarithm of 1 plus r over 100 r over 100 is because we are dealing with the rate in percentage and to remove percentage we divide over 100 so in all these cases here to remove the percentage in uh, fv and in pv as well we we'll divide that amount by 100 so guys thank you for watching remember to share like and comment on the comment section with any question you want us to help make videos for you stay with us on its mass time questions and answers a channel that gives you insights about all the problems giving you headache at school remain blessed bye bye